Hello, this is Bren Antrim, one of the librarians at the Santa Monica College Library. Today we're going to be doing a database search, um, a tour of Drama Online. This is applicable for student actors who need to find a monologue or literature, criticism, um, research for a specific work or a specific playwright or a theme found in plays. So in order to get to the database, you would mouse over student support and go to the library or click on student support scroll down to academics and the library is in the center of the page. Once you're there it has a variety of access points. You can book a study room for yourself or your group. You can take a look at library research guides on everything from how to do research or create citations to research in specific areas like business or English. You can go into databases which is what we're going to do today. You can take a look at our archived workshops and videos on YouTube and also take a look for our upcoming workshops. You can ask a librarian 24-7 if you need assistance with your research. If you call, um, if you chat with us during a time that we are not open, you will talk to a librarian from one of the colleges or universities in the consortium to which we belong. If they are unable to answer your question, they will create a ticket, and when we come back to work, we will follow up on that ticket on email to make sure that you got the answers that you need. Further down the page, we have our upcoming events. We have links to our various resources, our hours and contact information, and our social media links. So heading into the databases, there are a number of ways to get into the databases and filter it down to what you actually need. Um, I would not recommend a search for databases for this search um, because, say for example, I'm looking for a specific playwright. This searches the descriptions of the database, not within the database. So if I look for Shakespeare, I may or may not find Shakespeare, or I look for Sam Shepard. I won't find Sam Shepard because we won't have a whole database just on Sam Shepard or August Wilson or any individual playwright. So instead, I would head over here to All Subjects and see if there is a subject that describes your topic. In this case, there is theater. So when I go into that, that takes out 100 databases that I don't need to worry about. Um, those that are most specialized for your topic are up along the top, and then other databases that include information about your topic and other things are listed below. Could also be useful. But today we're going to take a look at Drama Online. Drama Online allows a variety of approaches to your search. You can look for specific plays, for specific playwrights, for criticism, for the craft of theater. You can browse contents in the same way, which mirrors the links below. You can explore by theme, genre, or the time when it was first performed. You can take a look at specific collections. So the first option that I'm going to take is I'm going to say I am an author uh, or I'm looking for an author or a play on a specific theme. So I can explore by theme. And once I'm in there, as you see, you have a variety of different um, options. So if my theme happens to be immigration, there are 96 items from a variety of playwrights. In a variety of content, some plays, actual plays, books about the plays, images from the plays, etc. Specific plays that you can click on to go in. And once you're there, you can take a look at this play. And in the play, it may have a short video introduction. It gives you related content. And it tells you about the play. Okay. So that's one way that you can use the database. The other way is, say you are a student actor and you need to do a monologue. You can do an advanced play search. And this actually allows you to either find a specific play or to look for a monologue. So say I want to do something on freedom. It can be any gender, but it has to be at least 500 words. I search that out, and it gives me 72 monologues that I can use 
from current works like The Arrest of Ai Weiwei to classical works like Antigone. to historical works like Three Days in May. So there are a number of different ways you could do this. And then you can say, okay, of these, how many scenes are there? What are the themes within it? When was it first performed? What is its genre? Okay. And how many scenes are in it? Female characters, male characters, play word length. So you can pick one. In this case, I'm going to pick The Arrest of Ai Weiwei. And then within that, it will give you the actual text that you can then use for your monologue. Or if you're doing a scene for an audition, your dialogue. Okay, So that is a way as a student actor that you can use this. The other way is say you have a specific play that you need to read about, um, that you've been assigned. You can type in the title of the play, if you can spell, sometimes I have a problem with that. And it will, if it is in the database, it will bring it up, you can click on it, it will tell you, it has the text of the play itself, it will tell you about the play, give you its themes, and then give you the actual text of the play. So there are a number of different ways that you can use this. It also gives you options um, to find out more about the play under Play Tools. You can take a look at the character grid, the words and speeches, and with all of these things, you can save it, you can print it, you can share it, and you can cite it. Make sure when you cite it that you fix the citation when you put it into your report so that you don't get um, points knocked off because the bot messed up your citation. This is a very useful and flexible database um, for a number of different classes from literature to acting to theater craft. If you have any questions when you're using it, please don't hesitate to reach out and good luck with your research.